What's up, church? Merry Christmas. Welcome to Christmas at Generation Church. Man, uh, this weekend is a special weekend, not just because we get to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but we also get to let you guys know, we get to let you in on where your Make a Difference offering went to and the stories tied to it. As you guys know, every year we say at the end of the year, we're gonna give an offering that goes towards a project, a partner, which is an outreach partner, and a person or a family. So let's jump in and get started as we explain to you exactly where your giving went. I am standing here um, on this property. As you guys know, if you'll look over there, you guys know we have pro we have phase two going on in construction, our parking lot, all of that has been happening because of your generosity at last year's offering. This year is exciting news because if you didn't know this, we don't own all the property that's around us. There's actually three lots that we've already put in our master site plan that we don't own yet. Well, I want you to know because of your generosity, the project you gave to this year, we just bought another acre of land right behind our church. We are one step closer to owning uh, the property needed to accomplish our master site plan as a church. And what I'm really excited about is what this part of the land is gonna be used for. It's gonna be used for a special building project, but I can't tell you right now. We'll get to that much, much later when we get down the road. So, but you gotta know our master site plan is so exciting. And this is another step towards reaching more families in our community and beyond. So thank you guys for giving to uh, this project. We are pumped for phase two and what's to come after that. So let's jump into our partner. If anything 2020 has taught us is that um, you, you need people around you Absolutely. and you need to do things together. So I love even just the camaraderie that's it's building with the churches, yes, yes. that's building with the community. Yes. And I still believe that going into next year, there's going to be so many people in need um, coming out of this. Yes, even. it is. Just uh, people who are going to go through hard times. And so we are honored and, and to partner and to also bless you today. And so because of the generosity of our church and because of our Make a Difference offering, we wanted to make sure that you guys had, we want to keep not only helping with um, physical, being there physically, yes. we want to help you financially. Um, and so we want to continue to invest and pour into Portland Cares thank because you. we want you to know you guys are making a difference. This so. is so kind. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. I have to tell you, even during the shutdown, um, we, we kept doing the benevolence. We had to shut our store down because all the stores had to shut down. We continued to do benevolence. We prayed every single day, God, you have to provide. You have to provide through this. Because just our thrift store alone, we lost almost $45,000 in that two month period. Um, God provided. I can't tell you, I would I would give out thousands of dollars in a day and I would go to the mailbox that afternoon and there'd be a check in there. So wow. thank you for trusting God and believing in us and, and doing what God would have you to do. I love you guys. And like I said, anything we can do to partner with you guys, we wanna do that. So thank you so, thank you, so much. Yes. Appreciate it. Hey church, we're really excited. We're about to walk into the Hope Center because they are the part two of our giving to a partner. So they have no idea we're coming tonight. We're really pumped, so let's go. Celebrate victory because God, you didn't create us to be victims. You created us to be victorious. Yeah. Uh, we want to present you with two checks tonight. Number one, to just continue to say, hey, we want to continue to support the Hope Center. We know that we're not the main sponsor church or whatever, but I want you to know from my heart, like this place means a lot to me. You know, my mom, um, my mom was, was you. Uh, I watched her go through so many battles for almost 30 years. What I want you to know and encourage you is she made it through and she's doing well and she's, she's on her feet, she's doing well. And I just want you to know like, you guys have my heart. You guys have the heart of Generation Church. Yes, and uh, so because of the generosity of our church and so many people who gave to the Make a Difference offering, we want to present you with this check. Just tell you we are so grateful for what you're doing in this place, what you're doing for the lives of these women. Amen. And we want to walk beside you for hopefully many years to come and see, uh, see you guys fulfill what God has placed in your life. Because I want you to know no matter what you've been through, no matter what you're going through right now, we say this at our church, if you haven't heard me say this, it's you you haven't met yet. And so no matter what your past is, no matter what you feel like you can't recover from, 
I want you to know there's a better version of yourself still ahead if you'll surrender to God's plan for your life. And we love you. So, can I hug you? Come on. Guys, what an powerful, powerful experience with the Hope Center. I hope you guys enjoyed that, man. What a blessing. They are truly some incredible ladies. But now we get to go into the person or the family that you guys gave to this year. And it's a powerful story. If you're new with this or you're not familiar with the story, back in October or early November, um, we lost somebody dear to us, John Roberts, who was on our worship team. Um, him and his wife, Lindsay, had been coming to our church for about a year. And uh, they had just gotten highly involved, jumped into small groups, leading small groups, and truly their lives have been changed and they were impacting other people's lives. And for reasons that we'll never know, uh, God himself only knows, God chose to take him home. And so this Christmas, we wanted to, to bless Lindsay and their one-year-old daughter, Rachel. So check out what your giving did for the Roberts family. Like, we're stuck with you. And you're stuck with us, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Hallelujah. <laughs> but we did a couple things special. Um, obviously, you know that um, we're in the middle of our Make a Difference uh, offering, and it's that time of year. One of the things that we want to do to honor John's memory is when we build this course, one of the holes that will be played will have a disc that remains inside that hole. And um, they have to play with this particular disc. And it's actually a disc that John loved to use. Yeah, that's what um, But it just says, in memory of Jonathan Roberts, AKA Johnny Rob, <laughs> please toss this hole for John. He loved this sport, and this is our way to keep his memory in it. Leave this disc in the basket for the next person to throw. If found on the last hole or in the woods, please take it to hole number one. We love and miss you, John. And of course it has his date. Um, so we wanted to present that to you today. And also, uh, we wanted to say thank you, first of all, for the generosity of our church. But because of that, we chose you as our family this year. And uh, we know that you started a trust fund for Rachel. And we know that you're doing whatever you can right now to just um, figure out a way to lead as a mom and pick, pick up the pieces. And we want to help put some of those pieces together. And so we want you to use this however you and your family need it. But if you want to put it in Rachel's trust fund or you want to do it, take care of any expenses that you have, we want you to know that we love you and we are honored to give this gift to you and your family. And um, we love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ah, I'm at a loss for words, um, but uh, I will be praying for it. It's amazing the the series and reset of going over um, of partnership, and um, that's really struck me because I was struggling. John John was the financial guy, and I just kind of watched over. Mm -hmm. So um, this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just want you to know it's been incredible to watch how God has used John and you, even with him not here, he's here because his family's coming to church. His family's gotten back into church. Lives are being changed yeah. still to this day through his story and through his faith. And uh, I know it's also probably given you a lot of purpose. Uh, um, and so we just want you to know we love you and we're, we hope that we can do whatever it takes to help you continue to make a difference even in your own family's life. So. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you.